and welcome back guys to another test review on the new 2019 model so today what we've got in front of us is the Harley Davidson Street Glide 114 Special so just a, a quick bit of facts last year when they brought the specials out they were obviously a different colour scheme but the big difference was they were a 107 where this is the 114 and the other big change as well is the infotainment system which I've used quite a bit and I'm really starting to dig it as with all my test reviews the first thing that I want to do is run a bit of b-roll and show you guys what the features are on this bike so without further ado let's kick it And following those features guys, the next thing that we need to listen to is this stock exhaust system. The other big part of touring as well is what you can carry. So with the Harleys and the Touring range, you've got the saddlebags. And one of the things that I am impressed with is the build quality. They're actually really good. And especially in the UK, one of the other things that you need to have is good waterproofing, which this does. And it's got a good bit of space you can put your drawers in. Before we get into the ergonomics of the bike and the infotainment system, just a, a quick bit of facts about my statistics. So I'm 5 foot 9 and I weigh 73 kilogram. So in terms of getting on this bike... Similar stance to the Road Glide Special. Uh, for me, I can put my feet firmly on the ground. And for a shorter person, so I'd say between 5 foot 7, you know, you're still going to have that ability to plant your feet safely and firmly on the ground as well. In terms of the riding position as well, with your feet up, the way I describe it, you're in a slight forwards position. I've always found these footboards really, really comfortable, especially on the Road Glide that I recently test reviewed. And for the handlebars then, they are, for me, being 5 foot 9, slightly but my shoulder level then by about three inches what i love about harley davidson i mention this a lot in my other reviews is that the instruments in front of you are really simplistic all the way through to the actual hand controls themselves in front of you then to the left you've got your dial so you've got your fuel so as you can see someone didn't fill that up so i need to get to a petrol station then you've got your miles per hour gauge then you've got your rpm and then you've got your battery vault and then coming down to the middle here you've got the new infotainment system which as i mentioned i really really love lots of different options for this but the biggest thing for me is that the thing is super super quick super quick and responsive is what i really like in terms of the options then what you've got in front of you when you press the home page like so on the left you've got the music in the middle you've got sat navigation which is probably one of the biggest usps of the bike and on the right hand side you've got your phone with bluetooth connectivity on the left and if i press the music it'll then take me to the dab radio which is really good and on the right hand side top right what you can then do is you can change all the settings and the key one for me is audio settings and then as you can see you can move bass up and down and treble and then you can get the right type of sound that you require for the bike if i then go back to the home page the big one then is the sat navigation if i press the sat nav what i love about the sat nav straight away is that it's touch control as with all the infotainment options and you can zoom in and out and then you can actually swivel your map around as well then if i want to add a destination i then simply press the magnifying glass and then I got these, I've got these different options. I press search. And then I want to type in where I want to go. So my test route destination is Beachy Head. So then if I input Beachy Head. And again I'm using my gloves to do this. But in the B-roll you'll see me using my fingers. So press Beachy Head. The route is being calculated. And then it will calculate your route. And then you can go for it. If you want to have something a little bit different. You can press the options button. And it will give you some different settings. So you have twisties. Scenics. And faster. So there's different options that you can do. But Beachy Head is our destination today guys. So you'll be seeing a lot of scenic routes. This type of route for me for doing test reviews. Is the best route for this bike. So moving from the infotainment system. Over to your left hand side then. You've got your headlights. Your main beam high beam etc then you've got your horn which is really loud then you've got self cancel indicator voice control then lower to that what you do have is the ability such as to increase the sound on the tuner 
and then on the right hand side to that then what you've actually got then is cruise control then moving over to the right hand side of my controls you've got engine stop start then you've got your hazards then right cancel indicator you've got a return to home button which is on your infotainment system and then you've also got another navigation system as you can see that you can move around so as i've mentioned repeatedly easy 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 this will take you probably about from a new perspective 10 minutes to get set up and off you go so without further ado let's get this test review going so i've just refueled and i've been traveling along the road for about four four or five minutes just to point out as well that i've got the the vent in front of me open here because what that does is actually reduce the wind buffeting so it cycles the air over your head which is a real nice neat feature in terms of the riding style itself just the same as the road glides it feels firstly super light once you're on it and you're going it just feels great in terms of the footboards themselves they are really really comfy i've got my feet as you're aware of in a slight forward position and for touring you can imagine this is a key feature that you will need to have with the seat itself it's like sitting on a fluffy cloud again it's the things that you would want in a touring model so just coming up to the first maneuver of the test which is the roundabout so for this what we're going to do is a full 360 and just find out what this lean angle feels like so for me you know again it just feels super super light i can really lean into it what i'm really impressed with is that the rake and the front end doesn't just fall in as i'm going around the bend it does feel very balanced so then let's just open this out coming into a 60 and with that 114 engine it just gets you there nicely as i'm cruising along now at 60 miles now one of the things i want to make sure of in terms of the touring range is that there's hardly any vibration coming through the handlebars because that's going to give you muscle fatigue so as i'm cruising about what i can feel is nothing which for me is perfect that's exactly what you want from a bike like this and what i am enjoying about this bike with that nimble feature of it again if i'm changing lanes i am perfectly confident to whip my head round and it doesn't feel a bike's going to squivel off somewhere and in terms of the mirrors then perfect positioning for me i can see everything that's around me which is super good as we're coming towards beachy heads what i want to do is not just look at the sat navigation because i know where i'm going for a start and secondly i want to know what's going on with my bike so if i press the information button here what i can then do is switch through to the brain of my bike which is telling me what is going on so in front of my screen at the moment i've got miles per hour distance traveled etc and then in the carburetor section it's got total distance so 202 miles and it checks my oil say that it's okay and then as i'm moving along if i click to picture of the laptop essentially it's got my average speed average miles per gallon fuel used stops and my start time so you've got lots of stats that you can play about with whilst you're touring now we move into the national speed limit test so we're going to see how quickly this bike can get from 0 to 60. so in second gear let's open it up like so and although we're going through some twisties this thing can really pick up the pace and just like the road glide this thing just moves so elegantly I have got no concerns or issues about this thing wobbling about and not having any traction. It's gripping the road. Then we've got a nice long left, just really leaning it in and then opening it up in fourth. A little bit of brake around here and then off again. Now I know with the 114s you've got that power behind you, which is exactly what you need because you've got to think about if you're touring, you're going to be taking a person on the bike your total weight could be around 24 stone could be more could be 30 stone plus then you've got the saddlebags in the rear that you're going to put your clothes in so a bike like this with the power coupled with that maneuverability is going to be the perfect recipe for touring and then guys we're going to go into a, a little right and then into a left and then boom out on the countryside check that out let's open it up this thing has just got so much grunt, it's brilliant. The other thing that you've got to make sure the tour is that you've got plenty of brakes. And with this, you've got the twin disc at the front with the Brembo's and a single disc at the rear. Then it's coupled to that dual linkage system, as I've explained in my previous reviews. 
All that simply means is that if you engage with the front brake, that will automatically bring the rear into play as well. And the other aspect is that if you engage with the rear brake, what happens to the front that it engages the left brake disc to balance things out. So it's quite a clever bit of kit. Got some nice roads around here, bit of negotiating to do, but it is very, very good fun. So again, on the hard to those brakes, using just the front brake, remember, because that dual linkage, then opening it up, coming into a left bend, off the accelerator, then on. And what I love is that bat wing is just bouncing that air around me. It's not hitting my head, it's not buffeting, and the suspension's working really hard. And then out. Look at this guys, this view is awesome! I'm a little bit gobsmacked at the moment guys, the weather is absolutely beautiful. I was at an award ceremony last night and my MD said, always remember this, you don't remember the words that people say but you remember the way they make you feel. And on this Harley Davidson, it's exactly why I love it. Just coming over the brow by Beachy Head and we've got this sweeping left. Oh, it's good. It's really good. And I'm gonna, oh, it's gonna overtake these guys. They're just plodding along. That's it, I'm gonna have to overtake you guys. Right check. Let's do it. Woo! And that's the thing with this bike. You can just zip in and out. And for me, it just feels like any other Sportster or Softail model. It's got that maneuverability. So coming into the final part of the test, guys, it is the chicane, it's the tight one. This is the one that always catches me off guard, but I absolutely love it. And I always can't remember where it starts either, but I know it's coming up, so it is a left. Dropping the gears down into fourth, gonna go into third. Then it's right bend. Car, oncoming car, that's all right. Then going through it, then into a left bend. Gonna go drop down into second gear. But this thing is carving it up. No issues at all. What a fun machine. Okay, so let's sum this up. Did I like it? Absolutely. Would I buy it? Absolutely. If, if, if I was touring, I carried a pillion and I was doing those miles. That's a key thing for me. But I think for anyone that's doing touring, then the Street Glide Special, I'll have to say it as well, guys, because if you haven't seen my other vlog, go and see it, the Road Glide Special. These two bikes are absolutely fantastic. I think the suspension's good, the brakes are great, the power's great with a 114. You've got great space in the saddlebags. You've got loads of great color schemes to choose from. And the price starts from 22495. There's nothing that I don't like about this bike. The only challenge for me is that in terms of the miles that I do, I just don't have the time. I don't have the time to go touring. I wish I could. I genuinely wish I could spend five days a week on a Harley Davidson, but it's just not gonna happen. So that's my review of the Street Glide Special 114. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Loads of stuff going on. I think I may have just dropped the Street Bob custom vlog. I've got a Sportster 240 coming up, which you guys are gonna go nuts over. But yeah, I gotta go. All the best guys, thank you. Moto New Rider.